Hi Year 6, Miss Rawson again. I hope you're all safe and well. I hope these videos ease some of your anxieties about coming to secondary school. This is part 3 of our Q&A. Hi Year 6s, I hope you're all well and keeping safe. My name is Mr Waterhouse from the Manor Academy. I am a PE teacher and I'm also a head of year. At this year I've been head of year 11 but I'll be picking up the current year 7s off Miss Rawson and taking them into year 8. Um, Obviously you're asking lots of questions about what's going to happen when you come up to Manor next year. So the question that I've been asked to answer for you today is what do you do at lunch times? Um, what food can you have and how do you pay for that food? So I love lunch times because I love my food. Um, and lunch times is a time where you, you go and get some food, you have a chill, you play about with your friends. Um, and it's just a bit of downtime for you in between your, in, in between your lessons. Um, so... You can go to the cafe, you can sit in the quad, you can go out on the fields when it's nice weather or in the tennis courts. Um, and there's loads of food that you can have to eat. We've got such a variety. You can have main meals and puddings. You can have paninis or pizzas. You can have subways or sandwiches. You can have um, loads of different drinks and snacks that you can have at break times as well. Um, you're also very special that you get a little bit of extra time at lunchtime so you get to, to leave lessons slightly earlier and beat the queues and get into your lunch queue um, ready to order your food before the rest of the school get there. How do you pay then? Um, so we we operate a cashless system so you do it by your, your fingerprint, your thumbs, you put your thumb on the machine and people at home will be able to put money on your account from home or you can bring some money in and we've got those cash machines, those finger cash machines where you'll be able to then put the money on. I hope that's answered lots of your questions and we all look forward to seeing you when you come up in September. Take care. Hi Year 6, my name is Mrs Redburn and I am currently the Head of Year 8 at the Manor Academy and when you arrive in September um, I will be the Head of Year 9. I also teach History so I'm sure lots of you um, will see me throughout the year and I am super, super excited to welcome you all to the Manor Academy in September. Uh, Miss Rawson has asked members of staff to talk the Year 6s through some of the issues or concerns that they might have in preparation for September and the question that I have been given to answer is what do I do if I am worrying about something or I am upset? Now I am sure lots of you are worried about transition, it's such a big step from primary school to secondary school and what we want to do is try and support you all the way through the transition period and also through Year 7 all the way through to the end of Year 11 at the Manor Academy. Now, if you're worrying about something, the first thing that you need to do is talk to somebody. And there are plenty of people at the Manor Academy that you can talk to. Um, the first person that I would advise talking to is your form tutor. Now, you see them every morning, Monday to Thursday, and for the extended tutor time on a Friday, and they are there to support you with any issues that you might have. We know it is a difficult process moving from year six to year seven, and your form tutor will do absolutely everything they can to support you with that. Whether you're worried about your friendship group, whether whether you have come from a school where not many of your friends have come from, whether you're worried about homework, whether you're worried about walking to and from school, your form tutor will be able to um, speak with you, speak with home, to try and support you all the way through the process. Um, the second person that you can talk to is your pastoral support officer, Mr Derek Hart. He is brilliant. If you need him, he is there and he will do absolutely everything he can to ensure you you are no longer worried about the issues that you've got, whether you've had a fallen out with your friends, similar to your tutor. Um, if you need Mr Derricot, he is always in the head of your office or on lunch duty during a lunchtime. And he will do everything he can to support you. If you've forgotten your lunch, if you haven't got any lunch money, if you're worried about getting home, Mr Derricot will contact home, speak to parents um, and make sure that your concern is sorted. You can also talk to Miss Rawson. Now she is your head of year and she is amazing. If speaking to your tutor hasn't worked, you can then talk to Miss Rawson and she will do everything she can to make sure that your issue is resolved. Um, and finally, and I think perhaps the most important one, is speak to your friends. Some of you may come from a school where not many of your, your friends have come and very, very quickly you will make a new group of friends at the Manor Academy and if you're worried about something, speak to them, especially because some of you may not feel confident enough to, to talk to a teacher straight away. Speak to your friends, speak to your family. 
But the most important thing to remember is do not worry about something alone. You've got plenty of people that you can talk to at the manor. Um, any of the heads of year will also be there. If Miss Wilson's busy or if she's in a meeting, any of us as heads of year will also try and support in every way you can. So although you may be worried about the transition to secondary school, you don't have to be. There are so many people there to support you in everything that you may need. And again, we cannot wait to welcome you in September. Oh, hi, Year 6. My name is Mr Lack and I'm a member of the English faculty at Manor Academy. Miss Rawson has given me a question that she'd like me to answer for you. Can I bring my mobile phone into school and use it? The answer to this question is no. Mobile phones are banned for all students at all times in Manor Academy, including break times and lunch times. If a member of staff sees or hears a mobile phone during the school day, chances are they will confiscate it. Now, some of you might be worried what happens in an emergency or if a parent or carer urgently needs to contact you during the school day. If this is the case, they just need to get in touch with school and a member of staff will get a message to you as soon as possible. If you need, absolutely need, your phone on you before the school day starts or after the school day ends, then it needs to be out of sight and switched off throughout the school day. And of course, you're bringing that phone with you at your own risk. I hope this has helped answer your questions and we are very much looking forward to welcoming you into Year 7. Hi, uh, Year 6, going into Year 7. Uh, really lovely to speak to you um, and I can't wait to meet you in September. I'm sorry we've not been able to do your normal transition. My name is Mr Hudson, I'm the Assistant Head Teacher for Pastoral Care and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what uniform you need in school and also what equipment you'll need uh, when you're uh, coming to the Manor Academy in September. So this is our school uniform and what everyone needs is uh, the blazer uh, which has got the Manor Academy badge on it. We've got a tie which is clip-on uh, and that tie has got a tartan effect you'd need to wear a white shirt and then you'd also need to wear black trousers uh, which have to be tailored trousers, they cannot be leggings uh, or the Manor Academy school skirt and it has to be the Manor Academy school skirt and underneath that you could wear black opaque tights or black socks. You also need black shoes um, and those shoes need to be shoes, they cannot be trainers that look like shoes and we are very firm on that in the school that you do need to wear um, proper shoes uh, in school. We've also got a PE kit which you can see just there, I won't talk through it, um, but both of these things are available at the Schoolwear shop which is in Mansfield and you can also go online on the Manor Academy's website and there is a link to that there as well. But we don't actually sell any uniform ourselves within school, everything has to be done through the Schoolwear shop in Mansfield. So a little bit about your equipment. Uh, first of all, you need a jacket, a coat that is waterproof and coats and jackets have to go over your uniform. Uh, we don't allow hoodies, so it does need to be a proper coat or a proper jacket. You also need a bag, which is big enough to take an A4 uh, ring binder and that's so you can get your homework to us, um, which you take home really, really nice and neat. Uh, and then you also need a planner, but we'll give you that on your first day, so don't worry about that. And then you need a pencil case filled with all the equipment you'd need for school and that's black pens and you need pen plus spares and a black pen is uh, the only one you can write in within school. Uh, pencils, you need a ruler, pencil sharpener, some colours, a calculator and then whatever other stationery uh, you think you need to help keep your uh, work neat at the Manor Academy. And every day there's members of staff on the gate who will greet you, will say hello, and we check you've got your equipment ready for the day ahead. We check you've got your pencil case and your planner, uh, and we wish you a good day. So yeah, really can't wait to meet you in September, uh, year six, year seven. I'll see you then. Good afternoon there. Um, my name's uh, Mr. Cooper, and I'm uh, one of the assistant head teachers here at the Manor Academy, um, and also a teacher of uh, PE. The question um, that I have been asked to answer is, what sports can you do at Manor, and are there any teams, or are there any other chances of representing um, the school? So, and the first part of the question, so in terms of sports, we do a wide range um, of different sporting activities that range from clubs like um, dodgeball, 
um, but um, we also do uh, the traditional sports like football um, and rugby um, and netball and, and again we engage in quite a lot of local competitions when with sports like that um, in addition to that um, we do quite a lot of trampolining and also um, we do some athletics we're both indoors and outdoor athletics um, so there's quite a lot of, of different sports that we do um, in terms of other ways of representing the academy we also um, do things like the Junior Maths Challenge. So for those people who maybe aren't as sporting, we look at um, them, them um, testing their mathematical knowledge against um, other mathematical juniors from other schools. Um, our performing arts team um, run concerts throughout the year. So for those who are budding either singers or actors, um, they can get a chance to showcase their skills. And then um, we also um, have opportunity for the budding, budding entre entrepreneurs um, um, who can take part in the um, Enterprise Challenge and present possible business ideas that they have for the future um, as well. So quite a lot of different opportunities for our students to have a go at um, in addition to obviously their normal lessons. I'm looking forward to seeing you all hopefully in September. Bye. Hi guys, I'm Mrs Hibbard. I teach art, design and technology, food and ICT. One of the questions we've been sent in is what rewards can I get if I work well and behave in school? And there are loads. At Manor Academy, we would much rather focus on positives and reward good behaviour than look at the negatives and punish. So in your classroom, if you work well, if you engage in lessons, if you're helpful, if you're kind, if you're happy, you'll, you'll get rewards you'll get achievement points and your teachers can put them on the register system and they will add up and accumulate through the week, through the term. Then as well as that, your form tutor can add on more rewards and then Miss Rawson, being probably one of the best heads of the year ever, she'll also put out further rewards for the groups or forms that get the most. Hello, welcome to Manor Academy. My name's Mr Donoghue, maths teacher. I've been asked to answer a few questions to help you transition to Manor Academy. First question, can I bring my bike to school? Yes, you can, but please make sure your bicycle is safe to ride. Second question, where do I store it? We have a bike shed. Please have a suitable lock, either a D or a U-shaped lock or a chain lock. Also, preferably a combination rather than a key. If you have a key lock, make sure you have a spare. Thank you. Hi, my name is Miss Austin and I'm one of the art and design teachers here at the Manor Academy. Um, I'm absolutely gutted that you're not going to be able to come and do a transition with us in July. Um, it's one of my favourite times of the year uh, to start welcoming all our new students. Um, but we're doing this video instead, so it's just going to be as good. And it's going to make September all the more special when we get to finally meet you in person. Um, Miss Rawson's asked me here to talk to you about the extracurricular clubs that we do in school. Now, these are at lunchtime or and after school. So depending upon the club is depending on um, the time of day that it is um, done. All right, so there's quite a list. So I hope you're ready for my listing. Three, two, one. We have chess club, computering, dodgeball, languages, manga. We have book club and lunchtime club. We also have creative colouring, which I think is really, really therapeutic. It's, it's very, I think it's very good for the mind. All right. We have art and design club, which is actually the club that myself and another member of staff run. Um, so it's amazing. We have film club, textiles club, choir, dance and sports club. Now the sports will do different sports throughout the year, uh, depending upon the season. We have active maths, poetry, farm club, homework club can do all the homework that in school. Uh, drama, geography and the Young Writers Club. And um, we've also this year started up a Pride Club, which I found really interesting because I actually found it very educational um, and it's taught me a number of things. Um, and the students that do that, uh, that are teaching the rest of us are absolutely fantastic. And then lastly, we have the Duke of Edinburgh Award. Uh, the Duke of Edinburgh Award um, is an outdoor, is outdoor activity. So if you like orienteering, map reading, camping, 
that's going to be absolutely perfect for you and mrs wilson runs that inside school um these were the ones that we currently did this year now they might change they might say the same but if there isn't anything really there that takes your fancy think mm, i'm not really mm. Once you're up here, have a chat with your form tutor, have a chat with your head of year, or if there's something that you know that you want to do, see if you can seek out a teacher that's going to help you facilitate that. And, you know, if there's enough students um, that would like to do it, I'm sure, without a doubt, we'll be able to put that club on for you. Um, what I do want to say is please stay safe during this time. Um, it is very difficult for everybody. Um, and be kind. Um it's always it's always good to be a good person all right so fingers crossed we're going to see you in september have a good summer bye hello year six my name is miss grice and i am one of the maths teachers here at the manor academy i've been asked to answer one of your questions and the question i have got is what do we do at form time okay so once a week you'll have a big year group assembly uh, I think for year seven, it is in the hall. It sort of rotates, sort of one week it'll be Miss Rawson and then another week it will be one of the other members of staff telling you about all sorts of things that are happening throughout the school. So it could be things like World Book Day or it might be something special sort of um, at Christmas, you never know. Um, and once every sort of term, there's a really big assembly sort of just to well to re recognize your achievements so if you've done really well and you've got loads of achievement points and so you've got 100 percent attendance we like to make a fuss of you uh other things that we do at form time is obviously that we check your planners you get sort of an organizer to keep track of your homework and your form tutor will check that you're writing everything in there and you write your attendance in there and your um, number of achievement points and number of um negatives in there um behavior points sorry uh the other things that we do is we have a topic of discussion that's so for instance something that's really big that's happening in the news you get to talk about it and you get to discuss sort of your thoughts your opinions on it um and there is a weekly quiz so as a form group you compete against the others forms in year seven and sort of it's one of those ones the most points wins you know how it works um and that's about it um i think uh, miss rawson will tell me if i've done this wrong uh well la ladies and gents i hope to see you soon in september i'm looking forward to it um so i'll see you then thank you Bye. that's the final q a video i hope i've answered all of your questions but if you do have any further questions please feel free to email me take care